Hello there. Oh, here I am again. Today I'll be showing a video on how do you how you can check uh, that your phone is unlocked without having it having to restore it. You know when you request an iPhone to be unlocked, um, uh, they usually tell you to uh, restore the iPhone and then uh, plug it into iTunes and then you get the activation screen and all that stuff. But there is actually a way that you can check uh, that the phone is unlocked and you can actually see the you know, your phone has been unlocked screen without having to restore it so that's what I'll be showing you today is a very simple procedure you don't have to restore you don't have to lose your jailbreak if you have an old version and you're not certain that the unlock went through um, you can actually uh, try this method now so this this one this method you can use it when you have a phone that has been unlocked by the carrier or a phone that's supposed to be factory unlocked. So um, pretty much what you'll do is uh, you're gonna take a phone, the phone you want to check that's unlocked or not, and then you're gonna uh, put us a, a non-official carrier SIM card. In my case, this is an AT&T iPhone, so I have to put a non-AT&T SIM card so that I can actually check that. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna remove the SIM card. Okay, let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay, there you go. Okay, here we go. We'll take out this AT&T SIM card and then we put in the non at and SIM card in the phone. By the way, it's better if you turn off the phone before you actually switch SIM cards so you don't get an error that sometimes comes up that, that says invalid SIM. So once you do that, which you switch uh, the SIM cards, you just turn on the phone and you wait for it to boot up. Oh. So this will take a couple seconds. Uh, meanwhile, you should uh, get uh, iTunes on the screen in your, your computer. Wait while it boots up. In my case, I have a Mac. Should work the same for Windows. So you just have to make sure you have there. You have all your devices. When you plug in the phone, you want to make sure you're on the on the device you're connected. So if you have multiple devices like I do, I'm gonna take them off so you, they don't confuse you. I'm going to show you what happens when a phone that is not unlocked that has a, a non-official carrier, in this case non-AT&T SIM card in it, will do. So you will, saw that, you will see that whenever I plug in the phone, uh, a message co will come up that says iPhone, uh, please insert uh, authorized SIM card. So let me show you that. So let's put it back in the computer. Okay, there you go. This is what comes up. See? So there is a big difference. Uh, once you see this message, you have to know your phone is locked to that carrier. So that's how you can tell if it is locked or not. So you'll see what happens if the phone is unlocked or locked. So, you wait. See, this is what happens when the phone is locked. Unlocked, I mean. You get a, the iPhone, iPhone failed to activate. Please try again. So, see what happens here in the phone. You get the activation screen on it. So, if you want to see the unlock message, what you do is you hit OK. You'll see this. You unplug the phone from the USB cord again. Right? 
and then you plug it back in and see what happens now you'll see the magic happening Wait a little bit, my intonation. Okay, there you go. Should get done any second. See, you'll see that the phone will not show you anymore that screen. Okay, so uh, let's go set up as a new iPhone. And you'll see what happens here. Still see this activation uh, required. This is activation necessary in Spanish, which should be activation required in English. So you'll see that the phone will grab signal from the non-official carrier okay so this means the phone has been unlocked okay so this means you're done